At the first Black Coffee Morning event at ECFR's new Smith Square offices in Westminster, guest speaker and Harvard professor Stephen Walt gave insight into the challenges of developing an effective policy on how to deal with ISIS. Walt believes that containment is the right way forward. Well, to the extent that the Islamic State is really a threat, and my view is it's actually not a particularly serious threat because it's relatively weak, you only worry about two problems. One is that it expands by conquest or that it expands by contagion. Uh, in the first, it expands militarily and then imposes its order on other areas. And fortunately, it's too weak to expand beyond the areas it currently controls. Uh, it's not going to go very far, at least. You, so we worry a little bit more about the possibility of its ideas spreading. But that's not something you address militarily. That's something you address by trying to promote better governance in other parts of the Arab world, by countering its message within Islamic communities, which, by the way, is something that those Islamic communities have to do more than can be done, say, by Western governments. But in the sense of trying to contain ISIS, it's the military problem is relatively easy, and the, the imp more important challenge is to make sure that its ideas do not become more popular in other places. Russia has recently decided to fight ISIS in cooperation with Syria's President Assad, whose regime is reported to have killed thousands of civilians. I don't think the motive for cooperating with Assad at this point would be to deal with the Islamic State. The reason we might want to consider cooperating with Assad, or at least doing business with Assad, is to try and end the Syrian civil war. Uh, some kind of agreement, any kind of ceasefire, anything that stops the human suffering and stops the violence there, it seems to me is both a humanitarian interest, but ultimately in the Western interest as well. And if that requires some role for Assad in a some kind of transitional period, we ought to be open to that. I do think the United States and perhaps some of its allies erred by insisting that Assad had to leave at the very beginning when we were not in a position to push him out and that that actually helped prolong and magnify the civil war. You can find a full audio recording of the event on our website at ecfr.eu slash podcasts and more information on the conflict in Syria at ecfr.eu slash mela.